So today we're gonna to be answering the question of how to resize an image in Python using OpenCV. Essentially, I have this test image right here that we're gonna be using and we're going to take this image and we're gonna get the size and then we're gonna resize it down to something smaller or we could also resize it up to something larger. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So to use OpenCV to resize that image, essentially what we need to do is we first need to install OpenCV because it does not come uh, straight out the gate with Python. So to do so, um, I'm gonna go down to my terminal down here and if you haven't already, I highly recommend you use a virtual environment to do this because OpenCV is one of those packages where it's definitely helpful to have a virtual environment. And if you don't know how to use a virtual environment, I'll leave a link up with the video here where you can go check that out. But to do so, um, we're going to say, I have my virtual environment over here installed and activated. Um, you can tell it's activated because of this. And then I'm just gonna say pip install, and then it's gonna be Python, or yeah, it's gonna be Python. Nope, I always mix these up. It's gonna be opencv-python. Now, if you run this, um, I'm on a version of, like I'm on an older com like Mac computer, and because of that, it installed, when you install this, this will install the latest and greatest version of OpenCV. Now, I have issues, for whatever reason, there's a library or some DLL missing with the latest version. So if you need to install a very specific version for your use case, if, you have the, if you're on an older computer and have the same issue as mine, what you can do is you can do this equals equals, and then I know that 4.8.74, um, I believe, is one that works for my computer. So I can hit do that, and this will install that very specific version of Python OpenCV. Now, I obviously put it in wrong, and because that the nice thing about pip is if you do put it in wrong and you put in the wrong version, it'll say, hey, I didn't see any of that, any of the, that version, that specific version of 4.8.74 available, but here's all these other versions. Now, the one that I was looking for was this 4.8.0.74. So we'll go back up, I'll just hit up on my keyboard and then put a zero and then dot right there and rerun this. And it should say, hey, our status are required because I already have that installed. I already use uh, OpenCV quite a bit. And so it's already there. So. With that out of the way, now we can go ahead and just import um, because we can't use OpenCV once it's installed without importing it. So we can just say import and then oftentimes it's not gonna be like OpenCV like you see installed. It's gonna be actually, it's gonna be CV2 is what you're looking for. Um, so with, with OpenCV installed and now it's imported, we can go ahead and start using this library to actually um, resize or get our image display, get the size information and then resize it to what, the si what size we want it to be. All right, so I have a bunch of code here that I put in here and that's because um, I wanna get straight to the actual resize function, what it can do. So this is kind of the code that just basically we read in the image, we get its original sh shape information and then we display the image and then we just wait till we hit a button button to then clear it and then it destroys it, all, all the image and everything and whatnot. So I wanna show you how you can do the resize. That's the whole point of what we're talking about today. And so to do that, we need to pick a new resize image or a new image size that we want to do, right? So what I'm gonna say is the new height is gonna be equal to 224 and the new width is going to be equal to 224. Now, I'm only picking these numbers because if we go and display this image shape, now this basically gives the height, width, and the number of channels that there are. So if it's like an RGB image or you know grayscale image, if I say print um, this information, you'll see that that test image that I showed in the very beginning was um, a very, and, and there it is displaying that image again. Um, you'll see that that image was a very large image with a big height and a big width. Um, and and three channels for RGB, right? I'm gonna show like what happens when you resize and make it from going from more of like a, you know, more of like a nine by 16 or 16 by nine, whatever that kind of more vertical ratio is um, to a complete square and see what happens, right? So to do so, it's really easy because all you can do is say like resized image is equal to, and then CV2 has a function called dot resize. And I can pass that in and I can say that my source is gonna be our image file. And I can say now the size that I want to get. Now in here, you just give, I believe, just the width and just the height. And so if we're gonna do that, we're just gonna say new H and new W, right? And if I wanted to, I could say like new dims is equal to, and then just take this guy right here. So in case you have to ever change anything, then you could just easily have all the stuff that you need to change there. So just like that, we can now resize. And now we actually wanna, we could print out what we print out of our information now. Actually, we'll just copy both of these lines and we'll place them here and I'll make sure I swap out my stuff. Otherwise we'll be displaying the wrong image and I'll say resized image, right? Okay, so barring that I made no mistakes, which you know often happens, uh, we can go and hit rerun this and see 
that we get two images, right? So there's our resized image and there's our original image and we printed out both of the size information and we can see that it's a 224 by 224 and for our resize and the original you know 3000 by and by 2000 type size image for that one but it doesn't really keep the aspect ratio right so we got that size in there but it doesn't really keep that so how can we go about kind of keeping if we wanted to keep that same aspect ratio what can we do so let's go ahead and talk about that now all right so to keep that aspect ratio um we can do one of two things but before we do that essentially i want to show you that when you put into resize i actually realized that this was wrong this actually should be in I didn't see it because we're doing a square. When you when you pull out the shape, it's it's height with channels, but when you put in, it's expecting width and height. All right, so for your dimensions, and I didn't catch it just because that is a square, so it didn't matter. But um, so the one of two things that you can do is is if we know that we need to keep an aspect ratio, what we can do is we can go ahead and calculate the ratio that we need. Well, and this is where you need to make a decision. Uh, if I'm going to resize this, um, does it matter more to resize it based on height or to be to re resize it based on image, right? Or the last option is you have to have, add padding. If so, like if you want it to stay the same, but then you want the image to be, you know, the width and height to be the same, then you have to have padding into your window. Um, so if you don't really care, but you want, if you don't care really, but the output size is, is, but it's more around the same aspect ratio but smaller um, and at least one of them matches you know say our our thing like our output like 224 um, then we can go ahead and use this method. Now to do so, what we need to do is calculate what that ratio is gonna be. Um, so let's go ahead and say, we're gonna do it based off height matters because of the fact that we know that our image is traditionally larger on the height side than it is on the width side. So we'll just say that height matters. To do so, we're gonna calculate the ratio. We're gonna say ratio equals, and we're gonna do the width. So our new width uh, divided by uh, the float of our ridge width. All right, so now that we have that ratio, we can then create our new dimensions. So we can say new dims is equal to tuple with our um, new width and the integer of our, and I actually may have been doing this, I may be doing this one backwards. We'll see though, ratio. Okay, um, I think I am, but we'll just go with it for now and we'll just run this. So if we run it, we see that this method will pop up and show us, oh, there it is. It'll show us our resized image and it'll show us our original image and they looked pretty much the same, but now one's show, smaller. Now the details of what I was talking about are in here. So when we print out, um, when we print out, when we want to keep the aspect ratio the same in that side, I think that's why I was getting myself confused is because essentially we need to keep this, we need to calculate what this ratio is with the width because we want to keep the width the same, but because we want to match the height. So we have to determine what that height value is. And to do so, we say we're going to use that new width thing, but then we're going to count using that ratio. We're going to use that to calculate or multiply that times the original height to kind of bring it down to what we need to do. Um, and so that's why we end up here, the output, the height is 297 and then the um, the width is 224. Now, if you said, you know, I want to do it based off of, of uh, the width and I want the, the width or the height to be the same, but the width to kind of be variable so it matches the ratio, you can say, kind of just do it backwards here, just do a ridge height. And then what we'll do here is we'll take that, place it over here. This will be an H and this will be a W. Now, yeah, that should work because I just swapped all that. So perfect. Now, if I keep this, now we should see that um, when we get this, when it pops up, that the the height is the same. So the height is that 224 value, but because we want to match it to match the width, then we end up being that ratio right to work. We end up with this whole white strip over here, where it basically shows that like, look, you know, the image the image size is going to be this because it just couldn't fill the whole thing to to match that thing. So you kind of get left with kind of more of of you know extra space rather than, than what you need um, or all this white space over here that you don't need. Um, so that's how you can resize an image. Now, one thing to know, and I'll take this one off, is oftentimes when people are doing resizing, they use interpolation algorithms to aid in the resizing process to help avoid like blockiness or any stuff like that. A very common one when you're doing like, um, when you're going from a large size to a small size is just doing like CV2 dot enter um, the area. And essentially what the inter area will do is basically resample the pixel area um, relation and so basically 
it'll just kind of go in there and do kind of the area around all the pixels and do some sort of calculation that'll then aid in the algorithm to help it you know re, re uh, um, re, you know, when it when it resample resizes downward, it'll just help doing that area calculation to help figure out you know what what colors or what things the pixel value should be um, due to that resampling or that resizing of, of it downwards. So so yeah, so that's essentially how you can resize an image using OpenCV in Python is basically just the resize method where you give it the image, the dimensions that you want it to have, and then if, so if you know the exact dimensions, you can do it. Um, and then if you need to use any, say, interpolation because it's just not looking right, um, like a common one that's often used is this inner area one. But if you go out and grab a, um, or go out and look at the documentation, which I highly recommend you do when you do any of these interpolations, there are several other, you know, there's mul there's multiple of these interpolation algorithms that provide uh, a better use case of like given a, given a situation, which one you should use um and whatnot but from that if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and until next time keep on programming